Curry, the founder of Healthy Kids Inc. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how to make a tuna and cheese burrito. This is a really easy recipe that you can have ready in about 10 minutes. All we need to pull this off are to start out with some whole wheat tortilla shells. In addition, we're also going to be using one can of albacore tuna, one cup of black beans, one cup of frozen corn. We're actually going to saute all this up, add a little bit of minced garlic to it, and we're going to top it off with the zest of a half of a lime. Okay, we're here on the stovetop and our oil is heating. We also have a small pan for our tortilla shell. This is on low heat. We're going to use this to warm our tortilla shell while we're sauteing up our beans and our corn. So here we're going to go ahead and add our garlic. We're using two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Put this into a nice pan that's on medium heat. We'll add our garlic and then we're going to go right in with our corn. Okay, we're going to cook our corn and our garlic for about two to three minutes. Then we're going to go ahead and add our black beans and we'll let our black beans cook for about two to three minutes as well. A little bit of pepper. And then after about a minute, you're going to want to go ahead and flip your tortilla shell. You can keep your tuna chunks as big or as small as you want them. Again, we're just simply warming it up. Now we're going to add our lime zest. You can go ahead and kill the heat and give it a nice stir. Okay, this is everything we need. We're going to go ahead and start to fill our burritos. I'm going to give this just a little bit of a squirt of some more lime juice just to flavor it up even more right before it goes into the burrito. Finally, we're going to take a few spoonfuls of our mixture. We're going to place it onto our tortilla shell. We have about a cup of cheese that we'll be working with, so we'll take a few sprinkles of our cheese, place on top of our mixture, and then we're going to go ahead and roll it up. Pull this back, tighten it right here, and just pull it around. I'll let that set for just a moment. Okay, we finished rolling our bread and cut this in half. We'll see how nice this looks inside. Go ahead and plate all oh, that looks gorgeous. I'm gonna plate it. We've got a little bit of our lime zest on the plate just for flavoring and also for decoration. And that takes care of everything that we need for a tuna and cheese burrito. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.